Good afternoon and welcome to Rosendale, Wisconsin. I'm at the home of the Winnebago RC Flyers Club on this spectacular early March, well, it's mid-March now, mid-March day. There is not a single cloud in the sky and it's probably, I don't know, 50 degrees, a little bit more, maybe 52. There's a little bit of a breeze, so there's a little bit of chill in the air. Hopefully it'll die down enough so that it doesn't impact the sound of this beautiful engine that I've got because this is an Inya 94 cycle engine. This engine is not ex this exact engine, but this engine was the second video that I ever posted on my YouTube channel back in 2015. And it's really near and dear to my heart. I happen to find this on eBay for an exceptional deal. It's a brand new engine. It's never been run before. This is the first time it's ever gonna see fuel. Now, I just noticed that I don't have a throttle hooked up to that, so I'm going to have to do that. I was kind of in a hurry to get out here because it was such a nice day and so beautiful. But this Inya 94 cycle, it came out in 1983, 1984, that time frame from the review articles. And in my opinion, they just have these Inya engine, engines just have the most awesome idle note, the most awesome exhaust note coming out of them. I think they're probably one of the best sounding engines, four stroke engines there are. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to run this for the very first time. I've got an APC 14.6 prop, the supplied Inya number three plug, and I've got probably some, it's 5% fuel, but it looks like I need to adjust this tank somehow. And we're going to give it a run and see how it goes for the first time. Okay, so one thing I didn't mention in the intro was, I just opened the high-speed needle, three full turns from closed. I did not do anything with the, the air bleed adjustment on this, it's an air bleed carb, and I also did not think to check where my throttle set screw or stop screw is set. So we're just going to go with it as it is, and I've got a glove on because I'm actually gonna try and see if I can do a, a backflip compression um, on this starting and see. So I'm going to open the throttle to full and suck fuel in here for the very first time. You see a lot of fuel just came out of there. Run it through a few times and you know I've got a special clip here because <coughs> on Inya engines the glow plug faces forward. So I'm going to reduce my throttle, connect my knife starter, and do this. Okay. So either my nice starter isn't making connection or we blew out the prime. So let's prime this again. It does have a prime lever. And it is the first time this engine's been started. So it's got fuel going in there. back again. Blew out the prime already. So as you can see, it's going to fire that way. It's just a matter of getting it all ready here.
obviously throttle stop is a little bit not adjusted properly, so looking for a better screwdriver here. Open the air bleed up a little bit more. Well, let's see if we can fire this thing up again here. It's running very well for the first run. This is a break in run, obviously. <coughs> I like how it hand started very easily. Prime out already. To prime it a little bit more. That is prime. Oh yeah, she's wet now. So this is how a low speed four stroke pinch test should work. If it's set correctly with a stable idle, if I pinch this temporarily, you should see the idle go up and then come back down to what it was. Just like that. This is why I love Inya engine so much.
low on fuel now. There we go. <laughs> In your engines kick ass. I mean the two strokes are awesome. The four strokes, I love I love their four strokes. I mean, and what's not to love here? This is just just such a freaking awesome engine. And I never really expected to have such a perfect first run for a new in or for a new engine with an engine like this. But I mean, damn, that was good. And it seems like I got it dialed in pretty good too with the air bleed and the throttle set screw and all that good stuff. It was probably, I was probably running it a little bit hard for the first time, but how can you not? It's just nice and fun. And if you don't like the sound of that engine and that exhaust or that idle note, stop watching the channel. Just stop. Because Inyas just sound awesome. There's no pressure feed for it. They don't need it. That's one thing that's cool. There's less plumbing. It just sounds so good. And you saw it just sat there and idled. It just sat and idled. It was happy just sitting there idling. In fact, years ago, I would bring my Inyas out and just let them sit and idle just because it was like music to my ears. So that's your very first run of this Inyan 90 four cycle engine. And what can you say? It's, it's perfection. It's just beautiful.